think, I think this is the winner. We're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again. Hola mi gente, this is your girl Jacqueline Ayala, photographer who also goes by Photo by Ayala, and you are tuned into the Photo by Ayala Chronicles. On today's episode, I wanted to talk about the making of my latest series, which was created to respectfully pay homage to the Brown Berets and Black Panthers, to their unity in the movement, to their work, to embody their power and strength, um, but ultimately to highlight Black and Brown unity. I want to give a big shout out to my sisters who collaborated with me on this series. I would not have been able to create this body work without you, so thank you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my page to stay up to date on the latest with your girl, Photo by Ayala. Out of all my inspiration photos, the two images I referenced the most were the image of the Brown Beret and Black Panther standing side by side and the group of Brown Beret women. These were the two that were my biggest inspiration for this body of work. We are doing representation. Stay tuned on what we're gonna be doing. We just got to our location, about to set up and get this started. We are running late today, but we made it and we're here. So here we go. This series was actually shot the day before 4th of July. And I was inspired to create these empowering visuals and imagery because I needed it. Um, the 4th of July was already resting really heavy in my spirit and in my soul. And I wanted to create something that was empowering but also uplifting to the people. And the only way I feel like I knew how to do that best was through history and through our ancestors who have fought the same fights that we're fighting today and the fights that we continue to fight together. For those of you who do not know, I'm Colombian American, first generation Colombiana. However, I was raised around a lot of like the Mexican and Chicano community. That was the first community that I identified with um, there's a large population of Mexican people here in Kansas City. Me growing up in South Kansas City, Missouri, I was the only Latina in school, literally through almost all of my education. It was a struggle to identify with who I was and my history, but I think that with a lot of help of my sisters, they were my first teachers. I feel like we taught each other a lot of what it meant to be a bicultural Latina in America, especially in South Kansas City. Shout out to South Kansas City. <laughs> but, um, you know, there wasn't a lot of people who were like us. And we were like the only Latinos on the block. It really did open my, my mind to want to learn history that I wasn't learning in school. And so I did find out about the Black Panthers before I found out about the Brown Berets. But... I will never forget when I found out about the Brown Berets and how much it blew my mind and how beautiful and powerful it was to see my people in the movement and fighting for the cause. It was the most powerful memory I think I remember that motivated me to want to learn more about my Latino history and my identity in America and what that really meant to me. Even though I had my concepts and my mood board, it ended up being different than what I had concepted. It ended up being better. And better because it was a collaboration piece and we all had our elements in here. And so I think it made it that much more beautiful and that much more powerful. So we have these color smoke grenades that we're going to use. First time doing these, so we'll see how this goes. What are you scared of? I don't know, I don't ever do like fireworks. Or... What's the worst that could happen? Blowing <laughs> The 
pieces that were used in my shoot. Starting off with the brown beret, I know I had a lot of questions about if I'm a brown beret or if anybody in the shoot is affiliated with a brown beret, the answer is no. However, the brown beret that was used was a beret that was handmade by my sister Vanessa Ayala who referenced the actual brown beret and that was already an existing piece that she used in her music video Proxima Vida. If you search Proxima Vida by Vanessa Ayala, you will see her beautiful video and where she also pays homage to the brown berets. The signs that you see used were created by Jasmine Ayala, who also goes by Fashion by Ayala, for protests that we have actually gone to. She's the one who has been creating the, the signs and since she had them, I asked if I could use them for the shoot. So that is where the signs came from. These were the elements that I feel like brought the vision to life in its full extent because they were all elements from home. They were all elements that weren't pieces that were just created for the shoot. They're pieces that have already been created for previous purposes and I think that's what made it that much more special. Working on more shit. I think we've been working for what like we been working since five. Oh, Damn man. girl, we're going on we were working for hours today on we one were shoot. We were supposed to start earlier though. One shoot. We were supposed to start earlier but somebody was running late. We ain't gonna say no names. Oh, <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my room. My office these days. Just debriefing from today's shoot. It was very last minute impromptu and when I have these urges to want to have shoots I'm always forever thankful for whoever is down at the moment when I call him and I'm like yo I got this idea you down and to have the homies come through. We did our tribute that we were all wanting to do for just how we're feeling right now and you know for all my people of color for everyone who's like struggling right now um it, you know it's a lot and it's heavy and you know it's not just something that happened recently it's something that happens every day and you know it's things that i have conversations with my friends with all the time you know we will get into real talk moments and real talk moments are just so essential in a part of life and it's just about communicating and being there for each other and inspiring each other and being powerful for each other <laughs> and um come back i'm almost done so this is where we were at today i feel like all of us individually it's heavy so to be able to have my crew that i had today and everybody take their part and after looking at these photos it it really just means everything to me and makes me very, very healing. This whole project and shoot that we did today in general. Shooting is always healing for me. So whenever I have an urge or I have, um, I'm inspired, like really inspired and I can't like just sit on it and I just do it, you know, I really appreciate everyone who's into those visions. So this is basically what this shoot is about and I'm excited to share it for my folks, so hope you all enjoy. This body of work was created with a lot of love and with the highest respect, and so I thank you. If it resonated with you, um, it makes me feel very humbled and thankful. I wanna thank everybody who has shown this series some love. I hope that this work inspired you and ultimately showed you the strength and power of black and brown unity and overall unity and love. Thank you for listening to my story. I'm excited to show you some more work that I'm working on, so stay tuned. But this is your girl, Jackie, photo by Ayala. <laughs>